Hey, Kathy, we're just going to make a little video uh, showing the routine for uh, feeding the horses. Uh, I know that Kristen said you've been up here with her doing it before. This will just be a reminder of how we do it and uh, which horse is which. Uh, so I'll have the grain all bagged up in Ziploc baggies. All you have to do is dump it into the pans. Everybody gets the exact same stuff. Then we just mix a little water in it just to make it a little more lubricated so they don't get chokes. Don't worry about Woodrow's cough. He's had that for a while. That's nothing new. And he's under vet care too, so. So we stack all the dishes in the cart. And then just wheel the cart out. the horses know where to go. Sometimes they try and cheat, but pretty much they line up in their respective feeding spots. And the first horse in line to get food is Chico. He's the bay with the white blaze. So I'll take all the dishes like this, the three dishes in the bucket. Get, 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 get. And I'll walk over to Chico's spot. And Chico gets a dish. I set the bottom dish down and lift the rest up and walk away. Babe here, the big sorrel mare with the white blaze. This is her spot. She knows Wait. where to go. She's pretty patient on her food. So I set the next dish down, lift them up. And then we walk over to the bay mare. That would be magnolia or cupcake as we call her. And she doesn't have a spot of white on her. She doesn't have anything. She's just bay bay. Yeah. Last in line is Woodrow, the sorrel gelding with the white blaze and the two white troughs in the back. His grain goes in the bucket and goes on the fence. Because he'll kick it over. And he'll just knock it over on the ground. And that's pretty much it. They're arrayed in a semicircle. I'll have Melanie go around the circle. Once again, we have Chico then Babe, then Cupcake or Magnolia, and then yeah. finally Woodrow. Mm -hmm. It's all in a big semicircle, and again, they're, they're pretty good about taking their spots and waiting for their grain. And that's about it. Afterwards, we have uh, treats in the little uh, canister in there, the little galvanized canister and some treat pouches. Yeah. If, uh, if you have a few minutes, throw some treats in a pouch, and when they're all done uh, feeding, we, we're pretty liberal with the treats we <laughs> give them. <laughs> It's their dessert. Yep. That's pretty much it. That's how it'll go. I'll leave the uh, gate opener for the main gate and the garage door opener in the truck on the seat so you can grab those with you uh, to make it easier to get in and out. Otherwise, the main gate code is 1234. And the, uh, uh, the garage code, actually, that's not working. You'll have to use the button to get open and shut the garage. And that's about it. Thank you for helping us. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.